An iconic Minneapolis attraction is taking the next couple of summers off. David Schumann shows us what's being done to the Stone Arch Bridge and why there's some good bridge-related news, too. As a vantage point for seeing Minneapolis, the Stone Arch Bridge is hard to top, a favorite spot for photographer Dalton Deering. It's a landmark. Um, it's what people from out of town come to see a lot of times. But for the next two summers, crossing the bridge will be off limits. We have a preservation project that we're going to be doing here. The mortar and rocks beneath the roadway are getting repaired and replaced. Half the bridge will be under construction next summer, the other half the summer after that. Really? Yeah. But a lot of people take pictures here. Like, what are the wedding photographers going to do? Obviously a uh, bummer, but you got to be safe first. As tough as this closure might be for bikers and pedestrians, there is some good news for drivers. The Third Avenue Bridge is opening again next month after about a year of delays. It's wider, yeah. It accommodates more um, more room for bike and ped on the entire structure. Plus, it got a, a, a makeover, if you will, for the construction work that was taking place. It'll be good to have it back open. Um, you won't have to go around either side of the the city the way you kind of had to do. The Third Avenue Bridge will be the detour route for Stone Arch, which is still going to be open during the winter months. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO News. MnDOT says the Stone Arch repairs will cost about $26 million. They are having a celebration on October 28th for the reopening of the Third Avenue Bridge.